Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy from Amy's Acrylic Artistry. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here today. Today, I am going to be doing a funnel pour. I'm excited because I have not done one of these in a very long time. I've really been doing a lot of puddle swipes and Australian flow troll swipes. And I always have that as a backup. If for some reason a technique doesn't work out how I want it to, I can always bring in my Australian flow troll and do a little swipe and fix her up. And I'm hoping I don't have to do that today. So I am using some purples, some champagne gold. I have some pearl violet. All my paints are leftovers. So I'm just using them up. What else do I have? Oh, I have a burnt umber as well. I love purple and burnt umber together. They're so pretty. And I have a pigment that I have left over that I mixed up. So yeah, let's get painting. All right, let's start with a little puddle of white. Oh, I do not want that hair on there. Okay. We're gonna take our funnel. We're gonna stick it in the puddle. And then we're gonna start pouring. Um, lots of purple, so. The pearl paints work the best when they're layered against a dark color. So if you use pearl paints with black, really super pretty. But even with this dark purple, very nice. I haven't done any brown yet, so let's do that. I didn't have a whole lot of the burnt umber left, so... And it's kind of funny because the burnt umber has like a purple hue to it when you put it against certain colors. It brings out kind of the reddish blue that is like the undertone of the of the brown, which is kind of neat actually. is the pigment that I'd mixed up. It's just called purple, um, but it's a J Diction and they actually don't offer the pigments anymore. I really wish they did. I managed to get a whole bunch when, um, well, probably over a year ago. All right, so. I always kind of like to wait just a little bit in between because it'll allow the, uh, the paint to come down the filter, the filter, the funnel. And of course, the longer you wait in between lifting and setting it back down, the wider your rings will be. Holding it up above, kind of just doing a little swirl, letting the last little bit of that paint run out of the funnel. 
Why am I talking in this voice? I'm not really sure. <laughs> All right. See how this goes because I, um, I don't have a whole lot of flow extender on there, but that's okay. We'll give her a little torch. When I do techniques like this, I always like to kind of let my paint sit at this point to let the cells come to the top. Um, and then as the paint slides, as you're tilting, more cells will come up. And I like to torch my flow extender as well because there's air bubbles in there too and they're gonna make their way to the top. And if your art piece slides over your flow extender, those air bubbles will come to the top and you'll have to torch again anyway. So just thought. Okay, it's close-up time. I love how this piece turned out. I am loving that magenta with the purple and the champagne gold and the burnt umber and then all those layers of pearl violet in there just mm, are so, so beautiful. The shimmer is just amazing. I am so happy with this piece. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well as the thumbs up and make sure you leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear what you think of this piece. Should I do more funnel pours or should I try some other things? If you have a technique you would like me to see, let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.